5 seconds dear members the new measures on foreign direct investment announced by the government this week will give a boost to the economic reform process which is considered to have taken a back seat recently the defeat in the bihar assembly elections may have promoted the government to come out with the new measures the electoral drubbing had given an impression in some quarters that the government had become weak and may not have the will to take important decisions but the government may have wanted to give the message that its reform agenda had not been affected by the defeat and that it will pursue the course of economic reforms the measures announced to liberalize foreign direct investment in a number of sectors are of a major nature they have been widely welcomed by the investors it is to be noted that they are executive decision taken by the government and did not need legislative changes or support the relaxations in the foreign direct investment regime in a wide range of sectors including defense banking construction broadcasting civil aviation and manufacturing will make indian business an attractive destination for foreign investment it will also make it easier to do business in india banks will be able to expand their capital base with different types of foreign investors being allowed to own up to 74% in private banks separately or collectively it is important for the private banking sector to be strengthened because even with some proposed reforms government owned banks will take time to gain health procedures have been simplified and approvals made easier with investments up to 49% being put under the automatic route in the key defense sector the lifting of many restrictions in the construction sector and the provision for automatic repatriation of proceeds will help the beaten down sector to look up construction is an important area because it has backward and forward links in the economy the government also has an ambitious housing program all sectors covered by the new foreign direct investment regime will benefit from the measures while these decisions at the executive level are welcome there is much ground to be covered by way of enabling legislation the alienation between the government and the opposition and the paralysis of parliament have resulted in failure to enact key legislations it is the government's responsibility to secure the support of opposition parties for them the most important among them are the constitutional amendment to introduce a goods and service tax regime and the bankruptcy law the government should ensure that they are passed in the winter session of parliament another typical issue is that the rescue plan for the loss making state electricity boards approved by the union cabinet is more ambitious and perhaps more practicable than previous attempts this is the third such effort by the central government in the past over 10 years to tackle the problems of state power distribution companies which are weighed down by debt and have no hope of commercial viability in the present circumstances the power minister is hopeful that the plan called the ujwal discomforts assurance yojana will lead to a clean up of the financial mess in the power distribution sector in a few years the program is considered more comprehensive than previous ones because it goes beyond mere restructuring and proposes efficiency improvement cost cutting reduction of losses increases in the tariffs involvement of regulators and ultimately making states accountable for the 
परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ डिस्कम्फर्ट्स बट द पावर सेक्टर के नॉट अटेन गुड हेल्थ टिल देर इज ए फेर एंड मोर रियलिस्टिक करेस्पॉन्डेंस बिटवीन कास्ट एंड टैरिफ्स डिस्कम्फर्ट्स विल आलसो हैव टू बी मैनेज मोर प्रोफेशनली करप्शन फ्लरिशेस इन मेनी ऑफ दैम दि बेल आउट प्लान हेज बीन जेनरली वेलकम्ड एस्पेशली बै बैंक बट इट विल आफर ओनली टेम्पररी सोल्यूशन इफ आल द पर्फारमेंस इश्यूज आर नाट फुली अड्रेसड द प्लान एनविसेजस् ए ग्रैड्युअल टेक ओवर आफ मच आफ दि लोन आफ डिस्कम्फर्ट्स बै स्टेट गवर्नमेंट विच कैन इश्यू बांड्स टू रेज फंड विच ईज ए सौंड प्रिंसीपल द रेजिंग आफ टैरिफ इज नाट एन एक्सेप्टबल ऐडिया फर् पोलीटीशियन सो बैलेंस बिटवीन क्वांटम आफ लोन एंड एक्सिस्टिंग टैरिफ्स इज दि रेमेडी